YouTube, Creeper Story Inc. here, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a, um, uh, not really a review, but kind of like a, th I don't really know. Just, uh, bear with me guys. Um, one thing is that this time around, um, again, I'm using my camera, but, uh, I have it fully extended now because we're on the floor today because I didn't really have a better way of setting this up. Um, I tried my best to light my room to the best of my ability, and the acoustics in here are kind of bad. Uh, the only re other thing I could really do is put stuff on the walls, which I don't have. Uh, most of the times you probably will hear me better because I'm right next to the uh, mic on the camera because I didn't buy one of those high-end ones. I got it from a friend, and I was thankful enough that he actually gave me one. And um, if you see my feet, it's because I'm walking around, and... Um, I have to pick some stuff up over here for the video. So, today what we're going to be doing, let me zoom in a little bit, because I don't want you guys being able to see my face just yet, because on, whoops, sorry about that guys, I don't want to like make you dizzy or something, let me just move that over. Tomorrow, I am going to the, uh, to the regionals I've been talking about for a while, the October 10th, um, Regionals in New York, uh, don't know exactly what to call that. It's the New York Regionals, I can actually search it up, I'll put it in the description below what I'm talking about, um, but it is being held at Gamers Gambit, the first ever Gamers Gambit one, if you guys know where that is, that's cool, um, and if you can recognize my voice, and, um, yeah, I'll be vlogging, I think, and I think that's gonna be the base reveal day, and, um, I'm gonna put that video up probably the same day I do the Sunday video, so if you guys want to see that, um, do that. I'm going to try to vlog. I can't guarantee anything, but uh, I'll do whatever I can to do so. I'm just a little skeptical because it is my face reveal, and I'm just a little, you know, iffy. So, my brother and his girlfriend were kind enough when they're at Comic-Con on Thursday, opening day, to go to the Konami booth for me. And the day before, or the day before that, I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday or something like that, my cousin was, uh, she called me when I was on my way home and asked me if I wanted to go to Comic-Con as well. So, my brother and his girlfriend were kind enough to go to the Konami booth and, um, pick me up some really cool stuff and I just want to show it off and just show you guys what my, you know, brother and his girlfriend got for me and I'm really, really thankful for them. But I did also feel really bad because the day before, um, my cousin did ask me to go and then I kind of... Um, feel bad because they bought me stuff when I could have bought it myself because I, I forgot to tell them that I was going Sunday. So, yeah, I feel bad. But then again, I was really thankful that they got me this stuff anyway. But yeah, so they got me the stuff from the Konami booth. They went to the Konami booth for me. You might have seen my head a second ago. But they got me stuff from the Konami booth. The bag is really nice and everything. It, nothing's in the bag right now. I took everything out. But that's what the bag looks like. And, uh... You know, let's just jump right into what we got out of this. They came back really, really late, um, and they, like, ambushed me this stuff. And, uh, my brother got some cool stuff, too, along with his girlfriend. And again, thank you guys for getting me this stuff. So, the first things first, from the Konami booth, they got me this awesome Kaiba playmat with the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in the background. It's still in the, um, the sleeve or the, um, packaging. So you might be getting a little bit of glare there. Um, I tried to let my room the best I could because it was very dim in here before. I got like uh, desk lamps and all that stuff uh, set up. Yeah, and right there, right there. Uh, sorry about that glare. I can't really do anything about that because I fear it falling over. But maybe I can move it over for you guys. Um, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Knock the camera right out of place. Go me. Alright, so, if I can fix it the way I want it to. Sorry about this, guys. I'm still trying to get used to using the camera as often as I can, so I wanted to show off this while I had the chance. So, this mat, you know, you see the whole Kaiba, you got your Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon over here, Yu-Gi-Oh! logo, and you got your New York Comic Con exclusive, which is really, really awesome. I love that they did this for the exclusive. Although, um... Yugi is my favorite character, and I would have loved to got the uh, San Diego Comic Con one. This one is just as cool. I love the background on it. I love the little um, as you can see the border around Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Kaiba. He's like, screw the rules. I have money, 
and everything. I don't think you can really see him too well. Um, let me see if I can kind of move him out of the light, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, you can see him better now. Uh, probably saw my head again or something. I don't really care. Um, as long as you don't see my face just yet. I got 20 minutes on the camera, so this video might be a little bit shorter. Uh, I forgot to charge it. No, wait, I got 60 minutes. Never mind. Um, let's just try and run through this video You know, pretty quick, though. It's not going to be a very long one, but it's still a cool one to do. So that's what the first playmat I got, and I did not know that there was another New York Comic Con exclusive. And when they went, they didn't know that there was one either, because the, the guy that was at the booth, and there were other people there too, informed them that there was another playmat. And they were kind enough to get that one for me, and it was a double um, player playmat. And let me just try and get it, because my tripod is like right here and over there and stuff, so I'm kind of like maneuvering around it. So this is the other playmat. It has Yuma over there and Kite over here, and it's a double player playmat. I did not know that this was another New York Comic Con exclusive. And since I didn't even know that when I came home, I when I opened up the bag, it was like 1 in the morning or 12 o'clock at night, I don't know. And uh, I pulled out the one playmat, and I was like, oh, you guys got me the playmat that I asked you to get for me. And I was really, really happy about that, and I was like, oh, there's something else in the bag. They're like, yeah, there's something else in the bag. And I opened up the bag, and this was in there. And I was like, what is this? And I unfolded it, realizing it was a playmat. I was very delirious at the time. And um, they're like, yeah, they had another playmat for a New York Comic Con. And I was really, really thankful, because I didn't, I didn't tell them about this. Um, I didn't know about it myself. And they were just kind enough to get me a... Um, another playmat and without even asking and they know how much I love Yu-Gi-Oh they know like I live and breathe Yu-Gi-Oh not to like a ridiculous extent but Yu-Gi-Oh is a very big part of my life it's a very big part of me and my friends life and um we my friends and I we I feel like we wouldn't still be talking to each other if we you know weren't all playing Yu-Gi-Oh I have a group me, Yugi Bot, and Game Builder, we have done other videos together, and then there's uh, two other people in our group, but me, Yugi Bot, and Game Builder, as you guys know, as Charlie and Lucas, and myself as Matt, um, we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, immensely in the 8th grade and all that stuff, and when we got into high school, uh, we kind of got dispersed around the school and everything, and we didn't see each other as much, but with Yu-Gi-Oh! and us going to tournaments and us like hanging out every weekend, we got to see each other on a regular basis, and it really kept us close and everything, and I really, really liked that. And, um, that was really, really cool. But back to these playmats, um, they were just really, really cool, and th they just, they didn't even need to ask me about this. They, they just knew I would like it, they knew I would really appreciate it, and everything. I, I got sidetracked there for a second, I did that a lot. Sorry about that. I'm trying to, like, focus the camera again. But, um, this one's ridiculous. I love it. Yuma's, like, there. Oh, Utopia's over here. Exclusive in the top corner. Got your cut down here. You can't really see it because I had to move it down. And um, there were two more things uh, that I was shown. Let me see if I can get these. That is that being seen. And those two things being um, two promo cards uh, from Jump, and then there's one from YGO5. I don't know what exactly set that is, but um, I didn't even know they had. I know they had promos, but I didn't know what the promos were, um, and, uh, they didn't know much about the booth themselves either, other than I wanted to play Matt, and that they got me another one, because they knew I would really appreciate it, but, um, I didn't know what the promos were, and, uh, they were kind enough to also to get me these two, so it's Dark Lord Desire and Mech Lord Emperor Granel, um, I've seen these cards before, I had just not, um, did not know that they were giving them out as promos uh, from Comic Con, so let me just zoom in here. Ah! There you go. So those are two promos. Let me zoom in on one. So it's Dark Lord Desire as an Ultra from Y. Uh, can't read that from here, and I can't read it on here because it's all blurry. Sorry about that. So let's go to the over other guy. So we got Mech Lord Emperor Granel. Pretty cool looking art too. I've seen these cards before. I just never seen them used in any deck before or anything like that. And let's zoom back out and um, let's just talk about what's going to be happening Saturday and uh, Sunday here. I'm going to be recording. Hopefully, I'm going to be recording a bunch of stuff on Saturday because you know I got regionals, twenty dollar entry. You get five packs from Clash of Rebellions, 
And I'm going to do an opening on that, so it's going to be going up uh, maybe Saturday and or Sunday, depending on uh, how much time I have and what I'm doing. Um, and then Sunday, actually Saturday, I'm going to try and vlog for the rest of the day doing my face reveal thing. If I can't, I'm sorry guys, I probably just was really busy. I'm just running around with my friend, again, Game Builder or Charlie, uh, as you guys have known from other videos. Um, let's see, what else? What else is on the agenda? Oh yeah, Sunday I'll be doing another video. Um, as usual, I try to keep my schedule up, but lately I've been slacking and my channel has been hurting from it. I have lost a total of three subscribers. Actually, no. Yeah, three subscribers. And it hurts a little bit, but it I kind of deserve it because I've been slacking on my channel a lot more than I would like to. And I need to work hard on that to get back to where I was before. And um, it just gives me the motivation. Not the kind of motivation I was looking for, but, you know, it gives me motivation to keep working hard, to keep building up my subscribers, and to keep those subscribers um, and everything. And also, guys, go check out uh, YugiBot's channel. Uh, he started up his channel again, and he's making, uh, he's made two dual videos, and they're really cool. Uh, he did it on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, and they're really, really cool. So, guys, check that out. Oh, yeah, forgot about it. Uh, YugiBot and I are going to try and do a dual video, um, live dual video and everything, on Saturday. We don't know when we're going to do it. We might do it in the middle of the day, um, when we have the chance, or we might do it when we go back to his house, or whenever we get the chance to. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you can, and subscribe to my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and gaming videos, and as always, hope you enjoyed. And thank you guys if you guys stuck around for my little patch there that I've been just going in and out on this channel. I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying to do as much work as I can while school is going on, and while um, my friends want me to do stuff with them, everything. And uh, I know that's not really an excuse me hanging out with my friends, but um, again, I'm just really, really sorry, and thank for you guys who are stuck around. And those three people that, that left, uh, you guys had all the right to do um, to do that, because you guys saw that I was just slacking on my channel, and you guys were like, I'm not dealing with this. And um, you guys could have done whatever you wanted, but yeah, uh, you guys had all the right to do so. But anyway, guys, uh, you already heard me do my, out my outro, so that's uh, he <laughs> not Yugi Bot, but uh, Creepstore Inc. out. <laughs>